Hello everyone. Today again, we are going to come with Pearson PTE Academic Reading Module and the topic is going to be reorder paragraphs. So let us learn the tips first. The first tip is look out for the independent sentence, which means the sentence which does not require support of any other sentence. Second thing is look for links, which is very important. I'll teach you how to find links. Third is look for a time sequence. Firstly, secondly, thirdly, this is called as a time sequence. Fix it up. Think about the overall funnel structure. Do not worry. I'll tell you what a funnel structure is. Last, use a trial and error method. Remember, this is not the writing on the wall, which you cannot erase. You can erase. You can redo it. Doesn't matter. Till you are satisfied, do not leave it. Remember the funnel structure. It has got three parts. Part one is an independent statement. Part three is examples and conclusions, whereas part two is dependent statements like time and links. Let's do two sentences now. This is just for practice. Remember that. Pause the video here and try doing it yourself. Now the answers. B and A. Let's reread the whole thing once again. The southern pike is a big obnoxious fish species which inhabits Lake Erie. This enormous hungry fish eats up little fishes such as trout and perch that live in the lake. Look at the link, this, which connects to the first sentence. Three paras. This is just to build a building block. Now the three paras, let me read them first. Para A, Para B and Para C. Para A says its business decisions are made on the timely and accurate flow of information. Para B says JP Morgan is one of the largest banking institutions in the US and a premier international trading firm. C is it has 1700 employees in 13 branches and representative offices across the Asia Pacific region. I'll give you some time, reorder them, rearrange them. And this is the sequence B, C and A. First comes JP Morgan is one of the largest banking institutions in the US and a premier international trading firm which describes a genetic statement about JP Morgan. Then it talks about C. It has 1700 employees in 13 branches and representative offices across the Asia Pacific region. And the last, its business decisions are made on the timely and accurate flow of information. This will really help you out. Four paragraphs which came in October. I'm going to explain it to you. How does it work? And these were the paragraphs one, two, three and four. Pause the video here. Correct the sequence and then we'll see. Take one to two minutes. Now the answers. I'm going to read it out for you so you'll understand why are they linked this way. The first paragraph would be two. The second paragraph would be three. The third paragraph would be four. Fourth paragraph would be one. So let us read them and understand how it's linked together. After World War II, especially in North America, there was a boom in general aviation, both private and commercial, as thousands of pilots were released from military service and much inexpensive war surplus transport and training aircrafts became available. Manufacturers such as Cessna, Piper and Beechcraft expanded production to provide light aircraft for the new middle class market. By the 1950s, the development of civil jets grew, beginning with the D. Havilland Comet. Though the first widely used passenger jet was the Boeing 707, because it was much more economical than other aircrafts at the time. Last, at the same time, means what? 1950s, at the same time. Turboprop propulsion began to appear for smaller commuter planes, making it possible to serve small volume routes in a much wider range of weather conditions. With this, we come to the end of this video. Watch us for more videos. Thank you so much.